Hi, welcome to the Web Applications Development Tutorial. Today we are going to investigate how to perform the sorting and searching of the list of the products. As you may mention, I have already created the controller, the database, already created a table for the database, inserted the data, created the view model, and the data access layer. If you want, you can refer to the previous video tutorial and investigate how to do all the previous steps. Now I'm going to implement sorting and searching functionality. So for that, we need to create two enumerables. One for drop-down list for sort criteria, second for drop-down list for sort order. On the index page, we will display the list of the products and the set of the controls to perform filtering by category, searching by name, sorting by name and price, and to select the sort order, either ascending or descending. Now we need to create another view model. Now we need to switch back to the home controller and modify the index result. First of all, the index action result should accept four arguments to perform sorting and searching and filtering. Then let's create the instance of the view model and pass these arguments to it. Now let's get all the products from the database. Then let's pass all the categories from the products to the model. Now let's write the actual logic for searching, filtering and sorting of the products. So if our category argument exists, which means that it is not now or empty, we'll get only those products having the same category. If we have the name argument for index action result and it is not now and not empty, we'll get only those products having the name containing the name which is passed for the searching. Now goes the logic for sorting. Now we need to pass the sorted and filtered list of the products to the view model. And let's pass the model to the view. Now we need to update the view. Now we need to change the model which is bound to the current view. Update the table headers. Change the for each loop. And add controls for sorting, searching and filtering. Now let's press F5 and test the results. So as you can see, here are only notebooks. Sorted by price. In a different order. So that's it for the current tutorial, thanks for watching.